Okay, another Tuesday, another round of the Dragon Method School of the Regista. Um, again, we're getting into a lot of uh, specific little details that separate the average players from the good players. Um, and if you can really master them, the, the really special players. Um, and uh, today, again, is, is one of my favorite little technical pieces of advice, uh, because I think it really goes a long way. And, and once you kind of see the pass and, or see the move and, and understand its usefulness, uh, you'll start to see it kind of creep into your game a lot. Um, and I actually think in futsal and in street soccer is where I use this uh, technical piece the most. And today it's, it's lifting the tight angle pass or elevating the ball to get out of tight angles uh, or pressure. So obviously there are going to be times in a match when you need to play a pass along a very tight angle, right? Whether you are being closed down pretty quickly by one defender uh, or you're being double teamed um, or you're up against the sideline, which is another barrier, almost just like a, a defender and, and the defender is taking the angle away. Um, you're gonna run into these, these incidences during a, during a match uh, in which you, you find a very tight angle uh, is your only option to play a pass or try to, to dribble out of. Um, and of course, if you, if you try to pass on the ground, because it is such a tight angle, a lot of times we see defenders just able to stick out a foot or a toe and just deflect the ball away. Um, whether, again, whether you're trying to pass the ball or, or trying to dribble past that player, that the angle is so tight, all they have to do is just make a little bit of a movement um, and they're able to get something on it. In these situations, if you lift the ball, whether it's your pass or your dribble, if you lift the ball approximately 12 inches off the ground, so just a foot off of the ground, okay, the ball will go over the crook in the defender's outstretched boot and reach its destination, okay? So it, it seems kind of simple and, and almost too simple that it wouldn't work, um, but you'll see in practice when it, when it does happen, right? Players, players' feet are on the ground, obviously, and uh, the ball tends to be when you're passing or you're dribbling on the ground, right? So, of course, as a defender, they're going to stick out their foot, you know, no more than a foot in the air. Um, and again, you can regularly see this uh, at the highest level, and you'll see professional players make this pass all of the time, and it really gets them out of binds. Um, and when it comes off correctly, uh, you know, usually they're, they're praised by the commentator or whoever for, for making such a, a good pass. But a lot, but again, you know, this is part of becoming a regista, a special player, um, somebody who, who wants to flit, fit into the, the club style of play is somebody who can sit down and, and watch a match and pick these things out. I guarantee if you watch professional matches, you see this pass all of the time. But if you're watching this presentation right now and you're like, yeah, it sounds good, but I'm not sure if it, it would really come off. Um, I guarantee you watch some games and, and look at the, the list that I posted. And there's some games this afternoon and, and specifically tonight as well. Um, watch some games and, and keep your eye out for this technique. Okay. So I have a few examples here. Um, one very recently, a couple of weeks ago from the, uh, Liga MX, so the Professional Mexican League, um, a, a match between Club Leon and uh, Pumas. And uh, we'll see here uh, this player uh, on the right, and I'll just highlight them now, right? This player right here is going to receive the ball. He's going to be double teamed, and you'll see how creative he is of getting out of, of trouble. Um, and then after this clip, I'll show you two clips of, of one of my favorite players, Alexia Puteas from uh, FC Barcelona. Um, and uh, she utilizes this pass all the time. Um, and, and you can see just how useful it is. So uh, the way that this video works is uh, I'll run it through it once. You'll see it in real time. And then I slow it down uh, so you can see it a little bit, um, a little bit better. See how he just is able to sneak it right through the little, we talked about the crook of the defender's legs, double teamed, put it in the only spot that 
it could go. And again, this is Alexia. This time the sideline is the barrier that creates the tight angle. Defender closing in. And again, just look at the defender's foot. It's on the ground. There's no way she can possibly get her foot up to block that. Again, a little around the corner pass here. Really nice piece of play. Again, we talk about these tight angles. You can see the defender coming, rushing in here, closing off that angle on the ground, sticks her leg out. You can even see the defender sticking her leg a little bit higher. You see Alexia this time is playing at maybe five feet in the air. Really, really good stuff. Um, <clears throat> So, uh, again, you know, picking these moments out in the matchup pretty easy if you're, if you're looking for these things. And, and again, you know, I, we're doing these Regista presentations um, to, to show you these technical details, but it's really useless unless you're going out and, and you're looking at matches and you're becoming that intelligent observation commentator, right? Um, so, so part of your work as, as a player and trying to become better is to watch the best do it and pick out the little details. The next step is to then apply that to your game, okay? Um, so how do we practice this? And, and if you've been participating in the online program, um, there's actually a wall ball exercise that, that we've, we've implemented that helps us practice what we call this, this popover move. And, and again, elevating the ball um, in a tight angle. Uh, and so uh, I'll, I'll show you a, a clip from our online program of, of, uh, of an exercise that I created. Um, and I'm pairing it here with, with Neymar from, from Paris Saint-Germain. Um, and again, you can see just kind of in the preview of the clip here, uh, this on rushing defender, and you can see he's on the sideline. So he has a very tight angle um, and, and raising the ball uh, in the air helps him get out of that tight angle. Um, but again, you know, I've, I've posted these videos to help you practice these moves. You can see I just getting my foot under the ball to pop it over and just sticking a, an obstacle there, right, uh, can help you do that. And again, you see Neymar here. Again, the key for him is to square the defender up so that it invites the challenge in. Remember, the defender's leg is usually going to be on the ground. Same thing. If you just use a little... I use a little laundry, um, little laundry detergent uh, thing. <laughs> um, so uh, again, you know, part of becoming a special player is to watch the best do these things. Um, these presentations uh, are identifying uh, the special things that special players do. Um, and now it's your job to go and watch these matches and, and pick out these special things. Because um, I guarantee you if, you, if you're picking these things out and you're thinking about them and you're being deliberate about them, and then you're going to your training sessions or your individual training sessions, um, and you're working on these things, you're thinking about what I've seen, how it's useful, how it's going to be useful to me in a match, and then going and trying it in a match or a training session. Um, and then after that training session, kind of evaluating how, how you executed it. Um, it goes such a long way and it's so much, um, it, it works so much better than just going out to a field and, and kicking the ball around with, with, no, um, with no guide uh, or with no plan, right? And, and so I know a lot of the emails that I sent uh, this past week to, to my older teams that talked about being you know, finding your training space, treating your, your training space as, as kind of a sacred place um, and, and having a plan when you go and train. And, uh, you know, we created this school of the Regista so that we, we go from identification of special technical details. Um, so what are they? Seeing the best do it, right? So a little bit of video analysis of professional matches going out and doing it for yourself on the training grounds, evalu evaluating yourself, going out and doing it in a match and evaluating yourself as always, okay? So, so that's the process. Um, and again, today it, it's about the lifting the ball in tight angles. Um, so, so get out there, practice doing it. Um, and, and I would love to, to, to hear about your progress with it.